Good day, viewers. My name is Engineer Adele Abu. This is Delex Tech Channel, where we'll be disseminating to you information, tips, and videos on safety, security, and technology. We all know that technology is important for mankind. Safety and security, we can't overemphasize on it. Every individual needs safety and we need security. And that is why the tips, the video, and information on all these are imperative for us. And in my last video, I discussed about important items you should always have in your vehicle. In your vehicle. I discussed about important items you should always have in your vehicle. I listed 11 items. And because of time, I said it is impossible for me to, to, be, to start discussing on each. And I promise in my next video, I will be picking it one after the other. Now today, on this video, I want to pick one at random. And the one I'll be talking about is this, what we call jumper cable. Jumper cables. This jumper cables is very, very essential. You have it in your car. And what is the, what is the function of this jumper cable? I'm going to explain to you first before we demonstrate it here. Sometimes your battery may be going bad and you will not know because the battery will not inform you that it's going bad. And you will just discover that probably you were traveling and you decide to park somewhere, buy one or two things. And the cost, by the time you will get back to your car and you want to start it, it will start again. You'll be wondering what will have wrong, gone wrong only to discover that it is your battery. You will need someone else's battery to start your engine. But you know what? Most people don't love removing their car battery for another person to start his engine again. The reason being that there are some vehicles the moment they remove the battery, the engine will start, will start manufacturing. There are, some, there are some vehicles that the moment they remove the battery, it goes into code. A lot of error will begin to you know, manifest. On that note, some will, they, don't, they don't normally wait or allow anybody to remove their car battery, except the technician. But meanwhile, if you have these jumper cables in your car, it will ease you. What you just need to do is just talk to any, anybody with his vehicle. Just tell him you are not going to disconnect anything. You are not going to disconnect your battery, neither his own battery. All you need to do is bring your car together, jump bumper to bumper. Just like if you look at this car, look at this car now, this is I have I have this. If if I am if I want to if I want to use the this car battery to start this, all I need to do is to bring it together. The, this is a donor, for example. A donor is the one that wants to give me power on my own. So what I need to do is just bring it closer, depending on the the, the length of your cable. So I'm going to demonstrate it to us now. This cable consists two different type of colors, the black and the red. The black is usually the negative. You can see. The black is usually the negative, while the red is usually the positive. Take note. This black one is just a matter of looking at your car battery. You can see, you will see where minus is written. That minus means negative. That minus means negative. It's always, at, yeah, it's, you know, it's always inscribed on it. You just connect negative like this, while you connect positive like this. Mind you, once you grip it, ensure that the two does not touch each other. Because once you allow the two to touch each other, it's going to spark. The little energy remain in this one. It will just, you, you will just discharge it totally. So what you should just do is either you connect it one after the other. For example, if this black one first, which is the negative, take it to the negative straight and use it to hold it. Use it to hold it. While the negative, the positive two, which is the red, you use it to hold it too. And the next thing you will do is to start your car. I'm going to start it now. This one has donated. This one has donated its electromotive force. 
the voltage enough to start this car. It has donated it to this battery that is weak. I am going to start it now. Can you see? Yeah, there are two, I mean, there are some certain do and don'ts that I need to call your attention to. Number one, ensure you bring your car close. For example, if you look at the way we bring this, it's bumper to bumper. We bring the nose closer, depending on the length of your cable. If you have, if you have the one that is more longer than this, you can pack it side by side. And if you pack it by, side by side, as long as it's long between one battery of the first of the donor, to the receiver then you can connect or you bring it closer like this once you bring it closer one of the things you should always consider if you want to connect connect each polarity per time if you are connecting negative the moment you connect negative from either from the donor first then to the receiver or from the receiver first to the donor before you go into the next one the next polarity which is either the positive you can't make that mistake from positive to positive. Mind you, you can't make any mistake at all. You don't need technician to do this. Positive is always written like plus. Why negative is always minus. So the black cable is negative. The red cable is positive. And once you get it connected like this, another thing you should always put into consideration is do not start the engine of the donor when you are starting the engine of the receiver at the same time. It is dangerous. The reason why it's dangerous is that if you start the engine of the donor before you start the engine of the receiver, the control unit may be affected. How? The control unit, you know, is pure electronics. And that electronics, the algorithm system may not be equal. And so they may affect each other. And once they affect each other, it means you are going to spend a lot of money to put it in order again. So do not start the engine of the donor. As long as the battery is good enough, just leave it. Go and start the receiver that has a low battery. Once you start it, don't stop the engine again. What is, the next thing for you to do is disconnect it one after the other. Disconnect it after one after the other. And once you, dis once you disconnect it, then the engine will be working. Then you can allow the, the donor to kick his car and have his way. Then you can continue your journey. Now, you won't need any technician. You won't need to begin to trouble on how you can get your car start once you have this in your car. It is not too expensive for you to have. It's, it's not expensive at all. You can always have it. This is just about three meter long. This is just about three meter long. And this is enough. Once you have this in your car, I can tell you, you will never be stranded when you have this kind of problem on your, on your maybe while traveling or when you are outside or even in your house. So please ensure you have this for your safety purpose. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to share. This may be very, very useful to somebody. Do not say you don't have car. It's not useful to you. The fact that you don't have car today does not mean you are not going to, you are not going to have car tomorrow. You don't have car today, you will have tomorrow. So when you have this knowledge, you will judiciously make use of that knowledge when you encounter this kind of problem. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Have a blessed day.